Another type of AJAX-enabled application you'll see often on the Internet uses AJAX to update the items in a menu system. The items may change depending on context or on the previous actions of the user. For example, the user may have checked the spelling of some text and then you want to gray out the check spelling menu item and so forth. So this allows you, using AJAX behind the scenes, allows you to update the menu item is displayed when the user passes the mouse over a menu name. For example, here there's two menu names, sandwiches and pizzas. And if the user moves the mouse over the sandwiches name, for example, you see that chicken, turkey, and salmon are displayed. If they move the mouse over pizzas, then you get pepperoni, ham, and sausage. Those are options, those menu items have been downloaded from the server and displayed in menus. We're going to see how this works in this example and for, if you can if you want to you can select the chicken and the application is smart enough to know what you've selected you might select turkey and so forth and so on so the major point here for our purposes is that these menu items were fetched from the server interactively behind the scenes and of course you can elaborate this example to display your own menus and update those menus as context as the context requires as I said for example you can agree out the check spelling you can allow certain options and disallow other options depending on what the user has already done so let's take a look at the code here and this is in menus.html the downloadable code for the book and it starts off with the h1 header creating ajax enabled menus which you see here and then we're going to display the sandwiches, the name of the sandwiches menu, which is sandwiches.jpg. That is this menu name right there. And then there's going to be a, a div element that will display the actual menu items. And that is starts off hidden. It's right underneath the sandwiches.jpg file. Right underneath the sandwiches.jpg display there is a hidden menu named menu div1 and then there's also pizzas.jpg which displays the pizzas menu name like this and if the user moves the mouse over that pizzas menu item menu then the pizza menu items are displayed and you can get the results like that just be just below the pizzas.jpg display is going to be another menu Div, which is menu div 2 and the, that starts off the visibility of hidden as well so that the menu is not, av is not available, not displayed unless the user moves the mouse over the pizzas.jpg image. So that, just, that starts off the display and now we've got to handle the mouse and so we're going to say on mouse move this is this connects to the body tags, on mouse move call the JavaScript function check and pass it the event object. So anytime the user moves the mouse, we have to check whether or not the mouse is now over a menu. Here's how it works then. Here's how the check function works. It first starts off by creating a mouse, a new mouse event object of the same type as you just saw in the shopping cart example and then it says okay well we're going to check image one is the mouse over the sandwiches menu item and that looks like this all that is just to check whether or not the mouse cursor is over the sandwiches menu item if it is then over the sandwiches menu if it is then you're going to call a function named get data get data one means get the data for menu one, the sandwiches menus. And then you can also check to see whether or not the mouse is over menu two, which is pizzas, and if so, then you're going to call get data with the number of the menu, which is two. Finally, we're going to take a look and see whether or not the mouse has moved away from menus, and if it does, 
I'm going to call the hide function. So if a target, if a menu is visible and the mouse is moved away from it, I'm going to call the hide function, which simply hides the menus like this. Here's the, here's the hide function. It's very simple. All that it does is it says if the menu is visible, then set its visibility to hidden, as you see here. Okay, so plenty of details, and so far what we've done is we have tracked the mouse, we have seen whether or not it's over one or the other menu names, and if not, we've hidden the menus, and the next thing coming up is, the next item coming up is how to handle the actual case where the user has moved the mouse of one of the menu names, and you want to start downloading menu items from the server.